right friends welcome back to news at a glance for 21st week look at the first one barack obama became the first us president to visit hiroshima memorial after the world's first atomic bomb was dropped on 6th august 1945 and however he did not apologize and in this connection i would like to tell you few points first atomic bomb was dropped on hiroshima on 6th august 1945 the name of the bomb was a little boy more than 1 lakh 40000 people lost their lives and at the same time the atomic bomb 3 days later was dropped on nagasaki the name was a fat man and more than 70000 people lost their lives and barack obama became the first united states of america president to visit the hiroshima memorial look into the next one islamic development bank that is international finance institution will open first branch in india at ahmedabad and you may ask what is islamic development bank islamic development bank is international financial institution with headquarters in jeddah saudi arabia established in 1975 and it works as per the islamic law of sharia and at present 56 countries are its members and islamic development bank also stated that it will provide gujarat state with 30 medical vans look into the next one four month window for declaration of black money that is income declaration scheme 2016 basically this is to unearth the domestic black money and this scheme was launched on 1st june 2016 and it will be in operation for 4 months that is up to 30th september 2016 and here the tax will be 30% krishi kalyan cess will be 25% of the tax or you can say 7 and half percent of income declared similarly penalty is 25% of the tax that means 7 and half percent of the income declared and hence the total tax becomes 45% of the income that means if a person wants to reveal 100 crores of black money then he has to pay 45 crores of rupees as taxes and penalties and subsequently he can escape from the botherations of wealth tax act or income tax act or benami property transactions act that means no prosecution people can declare and pay 45% as tax and other cess and they can go scot free so that is the beauty of this income declaration scheme 2000 16 look at the next one 29th may was observed as international day of united nations peace keepers and for the first time in the year 1948 united nations peace keeping force was established after israel arab war and on this occasion dag hammers gold medals for courage and sacrifice were awarded and these peacekeepers are also called blue helmets and you may ask who is hammerskold he was a swedish diplomat economist and author and second secretary general of united nations and in his name awards were instituted basically to remember the persons who lose their lives right so international day of united nations peacekeepers is observed every year on 29th may and in this connection this dag hammers gold medals for courage and sacrifice are being awarded every year look into the next one union government has constituted 11 member committee to recommend measures pertaining to enhancing the combat capabilities of the armed forces and rebalancing the overall defense expenditure and several shortcomings were noticed in the year 1999 kargil war and in this connection lieutenant general db shakotkar committee was constituted and it will look at enhancing the combat capabilities of armed forces as well as rebalancing the overall defense expenditure so if someone talks about lieutenant general db shakot a retired committee that pertains to defense ministry look into the next one all of you are familiar with nuclear power corporation of india 
it is the government of india enterprise so basically it is the government owned corporation responsible for generation of nuclear power in the country and the new is renowned scientist sk sharma was appointed as the cmd for npcil for a period of 5 years and all of you are familiar with uh, the football tournaments and indian federation cup football tournament for the year 2016 was held recently and the final was held at guwahati assam and here mohan bagan football club which was established in the year 1889 won the 2016 indian federation cup football tournament and they defeated aizwal football club by 50 and mohan bagan won after a gap of 8 years look into the next one at abu dhabi pankaj adwani created history by clinching the asian six red snooker title and if you want more about the pankaj adwani he is 14 time world billiards and snooker champion and please don't forget he was awarded padma shri in the year 2009 and he is the only player in the world to win world titles in all formats of both the billiards and snooker look into the next news sarbananda sonowal sworn in as the 14th chief minister of assam and governor of assam is pb acharya and don't forget for the first time bjp led front came to power bjp on its own got 60 assembly constituencies out of 126 and sarbananda sonowal became the first bjp chief minister for the state of assam in northeast and prior to this posting sarbananda sonowal was the minister for sports and youth affairs Union Ministry of Urban Development shortlisted further 13 cities all of you are familiar with the 20 cities which were announced in January 2016 out of those 20 cities bhubaneswar topped the list and now 13 more cities were announced and top 3 under the list are lucknow varangal and dharamshala please don't forget varangal is in telangana and dharamshala is in himachal pradesh look into the next one miss mamta benerji sworn in as the chief minister of west bengal for the second time after landslide victory by winning 211 out of 294 assembly seats and indian national congress will be the opposition party with the 44 seats look into the next one a committee headed by the former cabinet secretary tsr subramanian submitted its report on a new education policy and the report was not made public and anyhow government is going to announce national education policy shortly the prime minister visited the shillong and addressed 65th plenary session of the north eastern council and you may ask what is meant by north eastern council north eastern council was established in the year 1972 basically to act as a platform for development activities in the north eastern region and the prime minister in this connection stated that it should be developed as a state of the art resource center so north eastern council is needed to be developed as the state of the art resource center and at the same time the prime minister also dedicated doppler weather radar at chirapunji to the nation and at the same time the prime minister laid his hands on the kasi traditional drum called kabom please look into this slide he is trying at this traditional drum kabom and look into the next one indian air force successfully test fired a land attack version of the supersonic cruise missile brahmos in the western part of the country and two things i would like to tell you cruise missile differs from ballistic missile because cruise missile is guided through its path and second important point is brahmos is a joint venture of india and russia and at the same time the range of this missile is 290 kilometers and it flies at a supersonic speed of mac 3 that means it flies at a speed of 3 times the speed of sound 
and this missile system has empowered all the three wings of the armed forces with the anti ship and the land attack capability look into the next one vice president hamid ansari visited two north african countries one is uh, morocco and the other one is tunisia please look into this slide morocco it is towards the northwestern part of africa and tunisia this is a north african country look into the next one microsoft and social media giant facebook joined hands to build a new state of the art subsea cable across the atlantic ocean that will help meet the growing customer demand for high speed reliable connection for cloud and online services this data is going to grow exponentially in the near future and seizing the opportunity both microsoft and facebook joined hands to lay the state of art subsea cable across the atlantic ocean sachana adella is the ceo of microsoft and at the same time co-founder and the ceo of facebook is mark zuckerberg another important aspect is the killing of afghan taliban chief Mullah Mansoor in a drone attack inside Pakistan region put the relations between Pakistan and United States of America on a razor edge that means now at least United States of America recognized that Pakistan is aiding and abetting terrorists which is causing instability not only in Afghanistan but also in neighboring India and several tough decisions by united states of america are expected in the near future look into the next issue center for science and environment claimed to have found carcinogenic chemicals like potassium bromate and potassium iodate in bread and bakery products and after this incident aibma All India Bread Manufacturers Association voluntarily said that bread makers will do away with the use of potassium bromate as an additive in bread and bakery products and we have deliberated in detail about this in science and technology some time back and FSSA is regulation allow use of these two additives at 50 ppm for bread and 20 ppm for bakery flour and as per csc study 84% of common varieties of packaged bread samples were found to be positive for these chemicals potassium bromate and potassium iodate and potassium bromate is a possible carcinogen that means it may lead to cancer and potassium iodate can affect the functioning of a thyroid gland in the body and at the same time these additives are banned in several countries like the united kingdom european union canada australia and even china and please don't forget the food regulator in the country is fssai and subsequent to this report fssai also stated that it will not permit the use of potassium bromate look into the next one election commission postponed elections in tanjavur and aravakurichi assembly constituencies of tamil nadu election commission found the use of money to influence voters crores of rupees of cash was confiscated and subsequently election commission took this decision to postpone elections in tanjavur and aravakurichi and please don't forget as per section 58a of the representation of peoples act which was amended in 1989 gives power to countermand elections only in case of booth capturing and use of muzzle power when forcibly booths are captured then only election commission can postpone elections but this is a different case and now election commission is asking for changes in the representation of peoples act so as to postpone elections when money is seized in due course of election process let us wait and see how the government will react to this Look into the next one five indian car models have failed the crash test carried out by global ncap this global ncap is a united kingdom based safety and testing organization and all the five car models showed low levels of adult occupant protection the cars tested include the celerio of maruti then ion of hyundai scorpio of mahindra 
liquid of Renault and all these five car models showed the low levels of adult occupant protection. Look into the next one, United States House of Representatives which has uh, Republicans as its majority. You may ask uh, the party of Barack Obama, Barack Obama is a Democrat and Republicans are in majority in the United States House of Representatives and United States House of Representatives approved the National Defense Authorization Act which blocks 450 million dollars aid to Pakistan for failing to take action against the dreaded Haqqani network. Now, finally, United States of America seems to have realized the nefarious designs of Pakistan and these type of developments may slowly push Pakistan towards China and all of you are familiar with the 46 billion dollar China-Pakistan economic corridor. Look into the next one. In view of the visit of the Prime Minister to Iran, all of you are familiar with the Prime Minister's visit to Iran, please uh, listen to the lecture part if you want more. All India Radio's External Services Division launched a multimedia website and mobile app to its listeners abroad. And All India Radio is broadcasting its Persian services since 1941, please don't forget. Look into the next one, Reserve Bank of India allowed 100% FDI in credit information firms through automatic route subjected to certain conditions. You may ask what is meant by credit information company, basically credit information company compiles and analyzes data of various individuals and businesses with credit score and it indicates whether the individual or business is credit worthy or not. Higher the credit score, lower is the chance of default. All of you are familiar with the Sibyl. Sibyl is one example of credit information company and Reserve Bank of India allowed 100% FDI in credit information firms through automatic route subject to certain conditions. Union Human Resource Development Minister launched multilingual knowledge portal that is Bharatvani.in and it is a part of a Digital India mission. It will help the government to showcase Indian culture and heritage to the world and it will ensure universalization of education and also towards creating knowledge society in this digital era. And do not forget, it is the largest online repository of dictionaries in India consisting more than 130 dictionaries, glossaries and terminology books. Look into the next one, World Bank has launched pandemic emergency finance facility to help the countries and health agencies fight outbreaks of infectious diseases and this pandemic emergency finance facility will provide coverage up to 500 million dollars for outbreaks of infectious diseases like MERS, SARS, Ebola, Lassa fever and Japan became the first donor and committed 50 million dollars and it is designed and built by World Bank in collaboration with World Health Organization and other private sector reinsurance companies and it was launched at the G7 Finance Ministers Summit held in Iseshima, Japan and please do not forget recently G7 Summit was held in Iseshima, Japan. And at the same time, you may ask what is meant by this pandemic emergency finance facility. Basically, it will take care of uh, releasing emergency funds just like insurance facility, right? Look into the next one. Union Human Resources Development Ministry has decided to launch Asmita. And you may ask what is meant by Asmita. Asmita is all school monitoring individual tracing analysis. Once it is launched, it will track the educational journey of school students from class 1 to class 12. It will be online database of students carrying information such as attendance, learning outcomes, midday meal services and infrastructural facilities. So, once this database is launched, then we can easily track the students journey from class 1 to class 12. Right friends, look at the next one. As per the recent study conducted by SOCHAM, KPMG, India has emerged as the world's fifth largest electronic waste producer 
and India discards roughly 18.5 lakh tons of e-waste every year and telecom equipment accounts for 12% of it. Last one, Indian author Aditi Krishna Kumar has won the prestigious 2016 Scholastic Asian Book Award and she won the award for her manuscript Codex, The Last Treasure of the Hindus and it carries a cash price of 10,000 Singapore dollars. Right friends, with this let us conclude New City Glance. Please do join for other modules. Have a nice day. Thank you.